Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're back in SEX6 Challenge, and today we're gonna go right out to the rack, and we've got a six stage course with 12 gates, one entering, one exiting, and we're gonna compare heads up. At the end of the show, we're gonna give one cosmetic upgrade, and then the losing car will actually get a performance upgrade to see in the following episode if it can keep up with the challenges repeated again. So let's see what happens. Time to run and you better get to that gate. Boop. She's in trouble. So you gotta keep that front tire way up on that hill.
stay up on the rocks. Make sure that, that, uh, yeah. It's that back tire you're dropping it down there. There you go. Back up and you reset right in the V-crack. Going back. You gotta get yourself centered up on those axles. Now, uh, yeah, there you go. Back up real slow, real slow so you stay up there. Now, oh, oh, no, yeah, there you go. Give me more driver. You gotta keep that back, ooh, there you go. Now we gotta keep the back tire out of the ditch, so stay going passenger. Stay passenger. There you go, nice and slow. Stay passenger, little driver, little driver, little driver. You gotta get that tire up to wedge it. Now back tire's falling. So, like I said, we obviously have a pretty dominant winner, which is going to be the Trill truck. And I think it's a lot about it being um, top heavy, where it keeps on flipping backwards or falling over. So I feel like that we're going to do something about that. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to do a set of the Swamper tire upgrades. Because I feel like having the weight down low and holding it down is really the only thing that's going to make it top heavy. It doesn't have anything heavy like the other rig has. So... With it being having a performance upgrade, the Trio rig is actually going to get a cosmetic upgrade and so will the Vitavon rig. So let's start with that cosmetic upgrade for the Trio rig. So we're going to have to pull some upgrades from the upgrade bin. And like we said, we're going to go ahead and do a performance upgrade for the Vitavon rig for the top heaviness. 
And in here, I've already got them on top. We're gonna go ahead and go with a set of super, uh, super swampers. Now these don't have the steady foams in them. These have normal. I feel like that's another different type of performance upgrade. So we're just gonna do the performance upgrade of brand new swampers on stock wheels. So the other one we're gonna do is, that's gonna be the performance upgrade for the Vitavon rig. Now we're talking about a cosmetic upgrade. And so it's equal, I have two of these. So we'll put this bin back on the shelf and we'll see all the stuff in this basket in an episode later, maybe some other tire testing, who knows? Um, so what we have here um, is going to be the Power Hobbies front bumper with a winch opening on it and mounts for the winch up front. To match that cosmeticness on the trail rig, we're gonna go ahead and do this bumper right here. These actual bumper deletes came from DSM Off-Road. I'll go ahead and link it below. Uh, if I'm gonna have a rig, I'm not gonna have a Jeep that has a bumper on it because this would be my toy rig. I would take it on the trail and I would just run it and not worry about if I was gonna get a ticket for not running a front bumper. So I'm really stoked about this cosmetic upgrade. Oop, that's about right, okay. Boom. So uh, let's replace this front bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this body off. And what we have here is the Trio aluminum front bumper in silver. And I got these ordered from DSM Off-Road Bumper Delete Shackles. Um, I love them, I love the way this looks. This just makes it look so rowdy on the front, like just ready to do whatever. I might take one of these out and put them in the rear bumper, but we'll see if we get to that far on that upgrade. Okay, well, let's get to it. Boom. Um, definitely, we're gonna go ahead and pull this, pull these pins, get this body out of the way real quick, and uh, go ahead and do a little upgrade. What we do have here is uh, Power Hobbies, front bumper and wincher, integrated winch mount on here. So, excited about this. Nice and shiny. Ugh. It's already got a cutout for the winch to come through. So maybe we're gonna slap a winch on here. We'll see. Um, and it has a spot for two different size winches. So you could put something real big out here too. Nice little touch on that. It's gonna look super clean. So we have a tire, 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 and tire. So let's go ahead and pop these bad boys over here one by one. So, out with the old stock ones and in with the new rubber, but we also are, we don't have any steady foams yet. So that will definitely be a performance upgrade because your foams are really important on having the stability and traction if they're not falling over or side hilling. So, so we're going to just flip the bad boy back over. So that's a nice clean front bumper now. Now we got these huge swampers. And if you can see right here, with the portals, this is the thing I was really excited about is that with these portals, they're not gonna scrub the shocks, which is a big problem with the other one of them scrubbing. So very excited to see uh, all this come to light. 
So what does she look like with the full get down on her, huh? So going ahead and wrapping things up, I really like the way this front bumper looks with the bumper deletes. DSM Off-Road made those special for the SCX6 for me. Uh, hopefully get some more back in stock. Uh, you can see we did a Power Hobbies front metal bumper or like the bumper piece that where the bumper attaches at. Um, and the wings weren't metal, e metal, so we had to reuse the plastic ones, which I don't think is really a big deal, but the trio one had the aluminum hoops on it, which were pretty nice. I mean, I, I didn't really think about it until the other one didn't have it. But the other giant performance upgrade we did was we put the Swampers onto the Vitavon rig. And I'm really excited to see how that plays out with the top heavy part because there's still a lot of suspension stuff going on with both of them where the 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 vitavon rig could definitely be lowered down some and the trail rig could i think there's a there's like a, it's a drop down it's hitting as well so but we also have a bunch of other upgrades to do we have um some servos we've got some other uh braces aluminum braces that's one thing that did change on there is that the front brace uh, is not plastic anymore, so now that's metal. So I'm sure it's kind of a performance upgrade, so there's less flexing. So what was your favorite upgrade so far, and what upgrade are you looking forward to getting put on there?